good afternoon everyone welcome back to the verbal ability class today we will discuss a important topic that is participle and jira so uh, as we are doing this for competitive exam training so these are very common topic for grammar so we need to uh, learn this we need to understand this so let's start first i will give you a quick uh, description like what we are going to learn so what i told we are going to learn participle and gerund now what is participle and gerund sometimes we may use this kind of verb form in the sentence suppose uh, singing is my hobby here if i ask you uh, what is the verb if some maybe some will say singing but singing is not the verb the verb is is what is the verb is so is is what type of verb is is be verb and we have added ing with the verb sing sing plus ing singing here when we are adding ing with the verb it is becoming participle so participle sometimes uh, acts as the sub Uh, subject of the sentence so basically um, there is a difference between participle and gerund uh, we can use gerund as a subject of a sentence but participle can be used as adjective suppose it is a broken chair now what is the verb here again is is the verb and broken is the participle now how we have made this word it is the participle form of the verb break break broke broken one verb has three forms stop scribbling on the screen <laughs> so broken is the participle form and it is uh, as we placed it before the chair so it tells us about the quality of the chair or the condition of the chair like how is the chair so it is a broken chair so broken is the participle so here you, you can see singing is uh, gerund and this is participle so gerund acts as the noun as the subject of the sentence and participle can be used as the adjective of a sentence so the difference between participle and gerund is participle acts as the adjective so what is adjective adjective tells us about the quality and gerund acts as the subject now i am writing some things broken wings finish product
skin to match to the fruit for skin. Now I have written three sentences. Here in the broken wings, it's not a full sentence, phrase. So broken wings, you can understand that wings are the noun and broken is the adjective here. And sorry to be product. To finish product, it is also saying how is the product, like the condition of the product. Okay, now eating tomato is good for skin. So eating, I-N-G, eating is also the uh, subject. So it is jira. So first, first two are uh, participle and last one is jira. Now I will, uh, I think you understood. I'll show you some materials, just a second. This is the basic concept. If you understand the basic concept, you will understand. So what is the definition of participle? A word having the characteristics of both verb and adjective, especially an English verbal form that has the function of an adjective and at the same time shows uh, such verbal features as tense and voice and capacity to take an object in the finished mm -hmm. product. The word finished is a participle form of the verb finish. So I told you that Finish, uh, like when we are adding ed with the verb, it is basically the participle form. And when we are adding this, uh, we put the noun, it is basically telling about the condition, about the state. What is a gerund and what is its function? The gerund is a verb that's acting as a noun. So by that, we mean that the verb, the word that describes the action that's happening, like biking, thinking, running, speaking, becomes a thing a concept that can now be the sentence subject direct object indirect object or the object of a preposition the gerund is a verb some it acts as a noun so like we can use it uh, As a subject, uh, basically we are adding ing with the verb. Uh, so it doesn't stop being a verb, but the role it plays in a sentence shift from describing the action to being a focal point. So here are two examples of sentence. That contains Jiran, like as a food blogger, eating is an involved production for social now. Puzzle turned off his phone and shut the door so he could focus on study. Okay, so <clears throat> these are two different kinds of jiran. Uh, here you can see uh, like eating, it is used in the middle of the sentence and it is used in the last, uh, like at the end of the sentence. But both are jiran, both are right. Okay, now grammar and participle. So English verbs can take several basic forms to which we can call participle parts. The infinitive, the past tense, the past participle. The participles are words that take part into different word classes. Word classes. That is, uh, they are verb forms that can also act like adjectives. Uh, grammatical error for the dangling participle occurs when a clause begins with a participle that does not modify the subject. So, in the sentence, climbing the mountain, the cabin came in view. For example, climbing is a dangling participle since it does not modify cable. 
So when we revise the sentence climbing the mountain, the hiker spied a cave in the participle climbing, modifies the subject hikers and there is no longer time So what we are uh, saying basically, one vargas different forms, so you have to understand Different form is present, past, past participle. These are the main basic forms. Also, there is uh, infinitive form. So, let me give you some example. Uh, So maybe present in is what? Past tense is what? Past participle will also be what? Infinitive will be to what? So you have to add to before the what, then it will become infinitive. So uh, we use this form only in the when we are using participle. Sometimes we also use a uh, Participle uh, means um, like maybe the word is sleep, then the participle will be slept. Okay. So this there are like different kind of uh, formation, like it varies actually, it doesn't follow the same rule because uh, there are regular verbs, there are irregular verbs. According to that, this form changes. <clears throat> Okay, see the example of participle in a sentence. In the phrases, the finishing touches and the finished product. Finishing and finished are the participle form of, of the word finish. There are types of participle according to most grammar resources. There are two major types of participle. Uh, present and past. So, a third type of participle is perfect participle. So, let's take a look at each of these types. Uh, so, past participle. Past participle, I showed you what is past participle. Basically, we add ed with the past participle with the regular verbs and irregular verbs don't follow the rule. So what are past participles used for in general? They, there are three major uses of the past participle. Adjectives, uh, you can use a past participle as an adjective to modify a noun. We are exhausted. Participle phrases, a participle phrase is a longer adjectable phrase. Uh, disgusted by the terrible smell, perfect verb tenses, uh, present perfect, past perfect, future perfect, present perfect, continuous, past perfect, continuous, these are. So you have to know how you can uh, make these forms. So how you can write present perfect. We have already discussed this.
Present perfect. You can write uh, has plus have, have or have. According to the person, you have to change it in the participle form. Means has done. Past. Present perfect continuous will be has or have plus been plus ing like has been doing. <laughs> Past perfect will be has done. Sorry, had done because had is the past form. Past uh, perfect practice, uh, perfect continuous it had been doing future perfect is will have done will have been doing this continuous. These are the basic forms you have to understand. So adjective, participle, phrase, and verb tense, everything we have discussed. So past participle examples are given, acted, borrowed, worked, mumbled, was, studied, wondered, irregular verbs like for, done, gotten, had, written, all this. Present participles, we have given you example for the most part, present participles are easier to handle than past participle. Uh, so you have to just uh, use ing. Of course, there are some exceptions uh, to the general rules. <coughs> okay. So, present continuous, uh, we are eating. Past continuous, we were eating. Present perfect, we have been eating. Past perfect, we had been eating. We will uh, we'll have been eating. Present participle examples, giving part, perfect participle examples are given. Perfect participle examples are also given. What is a participle phrase? A participle phrase also known as a participle phrase is, is an adjectival phrase that includes a participle, such as nouns, adverbs, and prepositional phrases. So, like adjectives, participle phrases are used to modify nouns and noun equivalents. Like wondering a great cowboy hat, uh, slathered in ketchup and mustard. Amazed by the magician's tricks, mumbling to himself, busy. The Damlin participle is a participle, a participle that is uh, either modifying the wrong noun or is modifying a noun that is missing from a sentence. Suppose swooping with speed and precision, the grasshopper snatched uh, by the hawk. These are some examples. So this is the basic concept of participle and gerund. So did you understand? If I ask you what is participle, Chandra Jayasri, can you hear me?
Okay. Thank you. So we will conclude the session here. Thank you for listening.